Hello and welcome to Infinity. We've looked at some of the basics of using text with the artistic text tool. And so if you click on here, you can then click and drag to get the text size and then you can... There we go. And text will appear there and then you can drag it around the place and do other things, rotate it, etc. How if you try to make it smaller, you can do it with the corner. That's great. But if you want to make it wrap, if you grab the side and sh try to shrink it that way, oh no, it's just going to squeeze it that way. So I'd have to, with this, click in here and then hit enter and so on to force line breaks. But that's a bit of a pain. There's an easier way to fit it into a frame. And that's if I right click here and go to the frame text tool. There with a T, if I draw now, I'm drawing a, effectively a box. And now if I type, Okay, don't, don't get off the J job. There we go. Now I can, if I change the size of it, the text will wrap within this. The way it's positioned in here, you can use the align tools here to position it within that box. But what if we want to put it inside a shape? Now then, if I draw the shape here, Say let's do a rounded rectangle. There we go. And we've got the set the fill and the, the outline, the stroke. What if I want to right draw inside here? What I can do is I go to the frame text tool. And if I go here, but notice what happens if I move the cursor over the line into the shape. Look, it changes to a hexagon. Outside it's a square. Inside, sorry, it's a pentagon. Five sides. So I click on that. Now I can type. And this is within this text box. And again, I can align it with the alignment tools and do all the other changes that you can do with this. And now if I resize this, again, it's going to wrap within this. There's another trick here. If I take the corner here and resize it, the text stays the same size. And if I make it too small, it's going to fall, start falling outside the box. However, notice there's two dots down here. If I go to that outer dot, now it scales with me. In fact, if I go back to this one over here with this frame, see there's two dots there as well, so I can get the same effect. I'll take the outer one and the text will, you can shrink it as you go. So there we go. You can even do it. Let's do a quick one here. There we go. A nice picture of a university building. I suppose I could have wanted to put some sort of advert here. I put something up in the sky there. I'll fill it with a colour. Um, and what shall I do? Let's fill it with something, yeah, kind of to match the building. Maybe I could even take a colour from there. And with this sort of thing, I would typically change the opacity so it's you can see something of what's behind it. You can do other things like, you know, make it 3D and so on. But now I just go to my text tool here, frame that, that and drag onto that. So that's a there. Now I can set my font size. I can play with whatever fonts I want to use um, and so on. And, you know, do some, some text. I can then even, you know, play with it and move it around and remember that little dot there I can change that etc etc so there we go adding text is really quite easy and there's a huge number of things that you can do with it so I hope that was helpful and thank you very much for watching